Hello, in this demo I will show how to set up a continuous deployment on Kubernetes cluster using Rancher pipelines. First, let's quickly talk about Kubernetes. Kubernetes is a tool which allows to run, manage and scale containers running on multiple servers. The most basic building blocks of Kubernetes cluster are pods, deployments, services and ingress. A pod is just a simple container. A group of identical replicated pods in Kubernetes is called a deployment. A service is just a level 7 load balancer which distributes the load between pod replicas. Egress is level 7 load balancer. It redirects the traffic to the correct service depending on the URL. All Kubernetes cluster configurations can be done using kubectl command line tool. Now let's talk about Rancher. Rancher is a great tool which provides this nice and intuitive UI to help manage, scale and monitor multiple Kubernetes clusters. In our case we have only one cluster so let's choose it. And you can see the usage of cluster resources here. Rancher provides most of the functionalities which are provided by a kubectl command line tool. So you can see your deployments here, you can scale them up or down. You can manage your ingress rules in the load balancing tab. Service discovery can be changed here. Persistent volumes also can be managed, as well as secrets and uh, config maps. So even the ones who don't have deep knowledge in Kubernetes can easily do most of the Kubernetes cluster management tasks for this UI. In order to upload a new app, on Kubernetes cluster, you can just simply click deploy here, specify your image, uh, scalability factor, and uh, it's deployed. But that way, uh, the deployment is not updated automatically, you have to do that manually. So I will show how to set up rancher pipelines to update your deployments automatically when they are pushed to GitHub repository. So for that, I created this uh, example project which is just simple Node.js application which uh, returns uh, this Chuck Norris image on any response. So to show that it really works, it's actually already deployed here. Uh, yeah, so to show that my pipelines really work, uh, I will do a quick push uh, and uh, with this changed response. And after some time, uh, it will be deployed and the response of my web server will be changed. So this project has a docker file uh, which builds an image, uh, uh, also kubernetes.yaml which is simple configuration for kubernetes cluster. It has deployment of this image with three replicas, uh, service and ingress rule to make uh, this image available through this URL. And I also created a rancher pipeline.yam file, which uh, is a setup file for rancher pipelines. It uh, publishes, uh, build, builds a Docker image, publishes it to Docker Hub, and uh, deploys. So this is simple setup, and we can see how it uh, really works. Actually, that repository is uh, available on GitHub, and you can see it on the description below. So before setting up uh, pipelines, you have to connect it to your GitHub account uh, by going through the steps here, but I've already done that, it's really simple. Uh, so after that, you can go here to pipelines, uh, select your project, and you see that my last pipeline is running. And after some time, it's now finished, and you can see that my web server has a different response here. So my app is successfully deployed. So as you can see, Rancher is a great tool which simplifies management of Kubernetes cluster and makes it easy even for those who aren't familiar with Kubernetes. And Rancher Pipelines feature allows to immediately deploy your app changes and it makes your continuous deployment jobs available to the developers through the same environment. So other environments like Travis, Jenkins or CircleCI aren't needed. So thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed my demo. Bye.